Hi there, I'm Angie from the city and uh, we're just running through some shoots on warm-ups for before services. So we just put these together just to give you a bit of an idea if you're a beginner and we've asked you to start doing some warm-ups on just how to structure it so you feel like you're doing the right thing um, in warming up their vocal cords and um, yeah, just give you some confidence. I really suggest um, practicing with a few friends or your family at home beforehand a couple of times before you walk in. But generally, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just welcome everyone when they get there, have a little bit of fun, maybe ask everyone how their week has been, but keep it to one minute. We've got 15 minutes to warm up, so it's so important we've got those vocal cords warmed up and ready to go. So when we get up there, the sounds guys have got a sound that they can use and they can, because they've got a very short period of time when they can um, mix everything ready for the service. So we want to make sure we've got everyone as, as well prepared as possible to um, sing. So generally we're just going to start with something that's not, we're not going to do too much of their range, we're just going to work in that two octaves around where we'll be singing in the service. So for girls we're going to start at the A and then guys will come in a little bit later, A3 that is. So we might just start with a really gentle arpeggio on a bubble. So you can just start with the arpeggio on that, that's called an arpeggio or an octave. And just don't take them up too high, you don't want to get over that second bridge. So for a girl that would be... Um, E5 and for a guy it's going to be A4 and they'll kind of work up with you so just really gentle. Eight minutes of your 15 minutes should probably be bubbles because bubbles are one of the only things that massage the vocal cords really well and, um, and get everyone really warmed up and just make sure that you just mention to people that bubbles, tongue roll, that NG, just even a gentle hum. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that everyone's doing something that's gentle, that doesn't feel like they're pulling, and that's really relaxed, and probably just remind them not to go up too high. So that's all you want. So you just start with one of those ones, just an arpeggio. Then you can move to like a five step. So that's called normally a five step or a five, five tone exercise. Um, and then do similar things, just run those gentle bubbles again. Um, not going too high because a five tone can actually be quite challenging for people but we're just all about relaxing those vocal cords and getting them warmed up getting that blood coming into the vocal cords so that then it's ready for other things and then from there most of the time we'll just go to an octave or an arpeggio um, on a bo 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 or you might like a gug 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 or um nay 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 or ne 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 or even a wee 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 and just get them rolling through those you can ask them which is more comfy for them or you can just pick one for them and you generally have time to go through maybe two of those sounds and at the end really we'll just start to get through some sirens and you find pretty much from there your 10 to 15 minutes is over but the big key is, I think, if you're unsure of what you're doing and you're still learning about voices, to make sure, just tell them not to push. It should never feel uncomfy. And, um, and just tell them either bubbles, the tongue roll, and it needs to be clear. If it sounds muffled, like, like there's a muffled sound, it's not warming up their voices. It's not actually helping at all. So you want to get them relaxed and gentle. And it's better for them to be going, or really gentle. Then going bo 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 like where they're squeezing or struggling, no strain at all, and just gentle up the top. And then you're going to have them really well warmed up while you're learning about voices, and you can be confident that you've done your job. Thank you so much for serving in our team. We appreciate everything that you do to build the church and the house of God. And um, if there's anything else you need, just blog right down on the bottom if you'd like any tips or any other information covered in the videos, and we'll create one for you. Thanks. Have an amazing day and a blessed service.